At the Ayers tournament held to celebrate the impending birth of Viserys's son Balon, Rhinus comments scathingly to her husband Corlys that the knights participating are as green as summer grass, and none have actually seen real battle. When Viserys's wife Emma Arryn dies from childbirth complications and Balon does not long survive her, Rhinus is among the family members and courtiers present at their joint funeral. Rhinus and her husband meet with King Viserys and propose a marriage alliance between the widow Monarch and the daughter Lena, uniting the greatest surviving houses of Old Valyria. While Viserys is very hesitant at the idea of marrying a child, he understands the importance of producing more heirs to secure his line. Rhinus later speaks to Rhaenyra, Viserys's only surviving child and designated heir to the Iron Throne, and gives her a blunt lesson in politics. As much as the lords of Westeros have sworn to uphold Rhaenyra's position as her father's heir, she knows from personal experience that such oaths can easily be reneged on, and that having a woman on the throne is a much more controversial prospect than the young princess realizes. Viserys arrives at the Velaryon Island stronghold of High Tide to negotiate with Corlys, who had previously resigned as master of ships on the king's small council over Viserys's decision to marry Alicent Hightower rather than Lena. Rhina seems concerned at the apparently ill health of her cousin, but Viserys dismisses the matter and proposes that his daughter Rhaenyra should marry Lena's brother Lenor, and their firstborn child would someday inherit the Iron Throne. Both sides agree to the terms, but Rhinus privately confesses to her husband that Lenor's secret preference for men may only cause further complications. She also admits that she made peace long ago with the fact that she wasn't chosen as queen. This article is a stub. An article too short to provide more than rudimentary information about a subject. You can help the Game of Thrones wiki by expanding it.